Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? If you want to see how I went from this <laughs> to this with a wash day routine aimed at promoting curl definition and elasticity, as well as moisture and strength at the same time, then this is a must watch video. While you're here, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And please consider subscribing if you're new here and, you know, want to see more from me. Well, let's get into it. This is literally a week after my blowout. If you haven't seen my blowout routine, you can definitely check it out. But if you watched that video, the products I used, well, mm, not that great. And my hair was dry, so I didn't really do much with my blowout, which is really a missed opportunity. But, you know, whatever, this is what we're working with. I'm just going through my first section in the back and I'm going through and pulling out my shedded hair. Some of y'all are really concerned about shedded hair, but don't worry about it. We shed 50 to 100 strands a day, so you're going to get shedded hair, especially if you wash your hair only once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, you're going to get substantial amount of hair. Now it's time to go in with my pre-poo and yes, I bought into the hype and I picked up the Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Solve. This is what the treatment is looking like. It has some thickness to it, but that thing will run, girl. So be careful. This is 29 American dollars for eight ounces, which you know, hmm, it's, a little, it's a little high, it's a little high, but it is more affordable than Olaplex. You get like almost three times as much with this than you do Olaplex for about the same price. So that's something to consider. A lot of the reviews which were sponsored were comparing it to the Olaplex treatment. I have never used Olaplex in my natural hair life, but if you want me to check it out and maybe compare them, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know because I ain't got nothing to compare because I don't know. You're supposed to use this on damp hair. Y'all know I prefer applying products on dry hair, so that's how I started out using it. And I'll be honest with y'all, it does not feel spectacular applying this product onto the hair. Here's the thing. I think a lot of people that have used this product online are people that stay away from protein. There's such an anti-protein movement in the natural hair community. So people go months and years without doing a protein treatment. But for me and my house, y'all know if you watch my channel, I use protein a lot on my channel. I use a protein rich product, an intense protein rich product every six weeks to every two months. I try to use a light protein treatment at least twice a month. So I am no stranger to using protein treatments and I know what protein treatments feel like on the hair. And in terms of the application of this product, I personally, for me and my house, I don't like applying this product as a pre-poo. So this product is really interesting and my opinion of it will change throughout the process. But for now, let's just, let's just stick to it. I was not really impressed by how it felt going on. It just felt mediocre, especially for the price point, right? But keep watching, honey, keep watching. We got some ebbs and flows with my opinions about this product. And for those of you who are adamant about following instructions, for those of you who think water will fix everything, for those of you who want me to give up my unborn child to follow the instructions to a T, this is for you. I'm going in with water and guess what? The water did not make the application no better, but I did go in on this side with water to see what had happened. And what happened is it didn't make the products any more effective. It did not make my hair feel any better. Now it's time to just let the product sit. The instructions were not very clear and I wish that Carl Smith would give us some more directions. It said nothing about a shower cap. So I didn't go in with a shower cap, but I do feel like a shower cap would have helped this product to penetrate more. I have low porosity hair. It takes a lot for my hair to get products in. So I wish I did use a shower cap, but I did leave this on my hair for about 45 minutes or so without a shower cap. And let's see what I think about it. In rinsing out this product, it didn't feel amazing. I was really unsure. <laughs> At this point, I was really 
unsure about this product, okay? But I did get a revelation in the shower. Now for me and my house, the next time I use this product, and it's going to be a next time because I want to use it my way, I want to use this product as a traditional protein treatment. That means I don't want to use it on dirty hair. I want to actually use it on freshly washed hair like I would any other protein treatment. And I am going to apply heat. Curl Smith says nothing about applying heat, but for extremely low porosity hair like my hair, I just think I needed some heat. I think that would have really helped this product and allow this product to shine. The way that Curl Smith advertised this product and marketed this product, I don't think that it works the best way. But I'm not saying that it's a bad product. And you'll see later, my opinion actually changes about this product. But just the way it's marketed is lackluster for me. Now, it wasn't until this moment where I realized what the product did. When folks talk about elasticity in their reviews, they're so right. There's something about this product that gives you an amazing bounce back. Like, look at my curls. I've never seen my curls do this like this at the product. So that was pretty dope. Now it's time to move on to the next part of my wash day, which is shampoo. Because I blew out my hair, I did use a lot of silicones. So I am going in with a sulfate shampoo, the same basic shampoo I used to wash my hair for the blowout, which is a suave clarifying shampoo. It's like $2 <laughs> for a huge bottle of it. It's so inexpensive. You can even detangle with it. It's a great shampoo. It feels really good on your hair, but once you rinse it out, you're like, okay, my life has been stripped. <laughs> but when it's actually on your hair, it feels great. And it doesn't strip your hair as much as some other shampoos strip your hair. So I really do like it. I don't have to say much about it. Y'all know how I feel about this shampoo. I love this shampoo. It's a staple, will continue to be a staple. Then I twist my hair up and I move on to the very next section and we don't wanna talk long or say much because y'all have seen me shampoo my hair on this channel multiple times. Now it's time to rinse out my hair. And again, I'm using what? Warm water. Warm water, y'all. Game changer. Look how good my curls look. I'm gonna say this again. Look how good my curls look. Shout out to you, Curl Smith, for this. Yes, my curls look great. I'm used to getting this with my Ayurvedic treatments. But for a commercial product to get my curls looking so good, it's pretty legit. My mind is just changing, y'all. My mind is just changing. I'm like, okay, and y'all, let's pause right here. Y'all see this? My hair, in my natural hair life for this length, has never shrunken up this much in the shower. Of course, when I come out the shower, my hair will shrink up to my scalp. But in the shower, I usually have a bit of elongation. But y'all see how tight my curls are here that's what we're talking about when we talk about elasticity that is what the treatment from curlsmith does it really gives the curls a bounce back if you have heat damage not subtle heat damage you can't really bring back no straight stranded heat damage but if you got a little mm, questionable curl loosening definitely try this now i'm going in with a co-wash and honestly we're just not going to talk about it not because I don't love it, but I'm just honestly and respectfully tired of giving this brand free advertisement on my channel. So I'm not going to tell you what I'm using, but what I will do is leave some co-washes that I love down below. For this particular brand, they get no play from me on my channel no more, okay? All right. So I like going in with a double cleanse. I've been doing this for years and it just works for me. After a shampoo, I like going in with a co-wash or after a co-wash, I like going in with a clay wash. I find that this is most moisturizing for my hair. I found the most benefits when I do this. My hair has hydration, it has moisture, and I'm retaining length like crazy, which is the goal because what's the goal, y'all? Say it with me now that booty crack length hair. You can go in with any co-wash. You obviously don't have to go in with the one I use because we're not gonna talk about it anyway. So just go in with your favorite co-wash. Or if you're weird about co-washing, you can go in with your favorite moisturizing shampoo. I like going in with a co-wash, as I said, but I will also leave 
my favorite moisturizing shampoo down below for those of you who are not about this co-wash life. No judgment from me, do as you wish. Okay, all right. All right, now it's time to rinse out my co-wash and I'm using warm water once again, of course, of course. We don't give y'all a little length check and my hair is getting too long that it's cropped out. So, boop. But yes, we got length over here. We got growth. We don't got booty crack length yet, but it's loading. It's coming, okay? And shrinkage is a beast. <laughs> But yeah, this is what my hair looks like with the co-wash rinsed out. I make sure to rinse out the product thoroughly and then I braid my hair up into sections to air dry my hair for about an hour or so to apply my deep conditioner. Like I've said before, I like starting off on dampish, dryish hair to apply my deep conditioner. That's just what works best for me for my low porosity hair. It just helps me to retain more moisture. It's kind of weird and unorthodox but it works for me and that's just that the first step in my deep condition routine is going in with the oil on my scalp i'm using the shebe hair growth oil by negus banda i will link it down below and you can save some coins use bclh15 to save 15 percent off but again i will link it down below i like going in with an oil first because I just like doing a hot oil treatment and a deep conditioner at the same time. That's what works for me and I loves it. Now I'm going in with this pumpkin cocoon chocolate deep conditioning hair mask from Honey's Handmade. I had it from like a few Black Fridays ago, so you know, <laughs> wanted to use it up. I do have a video comparing this deep conditioner to three other Honey Handmade deep conditioners. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. It has a very loosey consistency. This conditioner has chosen not to be thick. Hey, we all don't choose this thick life. It is a lightweight deep conditioner, but it does feel okay on the hair. I definitely much prefer the Camel Camel deep conditioner from Honey's, but this one is all right. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was cool to use and to use up. I will link my favorite deep conditioners down below just to help some of y'all out. Also, let me talk about this oil. I know some of y'all don't like to do DIYs and y'all think my DIY oil is too much. If you don't want to DIY, you need to try this oil. When I say this oil is so amazing and so moisturizing, okay, I know oils in the traditional sense don't really moisturize, but this oil somehow, is softening and moisturizing. I definitely recommend you try this oil out. It's so good. This is when though, I really got to see how well the protein treatment worked for me. My curls were really just juicing on up. I don't know what it was. Of course I know what it was. It was that curl smith, but my curls just looked so good. They were so springy, the elasticity was there. The application was not my fave, but the effects of that product was seen throughout my entire wash day. And especially when I went in and did my moisture and sealing routine, I will have a video on what I use to moisturize and seal my hair coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that. Because the deep conditioner wasn't feeling as moisturizing as I wanted it to, I did go in with another oil on top from Organic Grow Hair Co. I do have a dedicated video on many of their products. You can check it out. I also love this oil. This is also another oil that I highly recommend. It is on the expensive side, like some other products in this video, but highly, highly, highly recommended. Both of these oils that I use in this video were awesome. I ended up using two oils because I ran out of the Shave It oil. That's how much I love it. So I did use two oils, but obviously you don't have to use two oils. But you can if you're extra. And this obviously is what my curls are looking like after applying the deep conditioner. And my curls look so freaking good. I was so impressed with how, oh, hello, hello, yes, 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 yes. So I did braid my hair up in two sections per usual. 
Usually I will sit under my hair steamer and I will link it down below. But I was tired, so I just sat under my soft bonnet dryer. I will also link it down below and drank some water and minded my business. After about, I think I sat on the dryer for about 30 minutes or so, probably 30 to 45 minutes. Now it's time to rinse my hair out and my hair feels good. What can I say? My hair feels good. It looks good. This was definitely a good wash day. It could have been a great wash day if I was able to do things my way. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Curl Smith, I got you next time. I did put on my t-shirt towel situation and then I moved on to the rest of my wash day. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know down below. If you like this video, let me know that too and I'll talk to y'all later. Happy growing y'all. Bye.